Hello Gothic friends, Razi is my name, welcome back to the worst let's play of the world Gothic 2 River Edition Harko. We are going to continue in this episode and see if we can join the mercenaries, what we have to do, because we talk to all the mercenaries outside except Torlov that has a quest for us, but first let's see our old friends. The... Oh, sorry, that's a good thing to start, good way to start the episode. Stealing, we are thieves but not like that. Who the devil let you in here? What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. What makes you think that? Gorn told me it was you who brought down the barriers. Yes, that's true. Yes, that was me, all right. I never would have thought that a man could survive something like that. What brings you here? You aren't here without a reason. Gorn told you about me? What happened to him? You remember him, don't you? Sure. He got else? caught by the paladins and was sent back to the Valley of Mines with a penal convoy. If the road to the Valley of Mines wasn't plastered with paladins and orcs, I'd have sent a couple of the boys already to free him. But the way things are, there's no point. Poor devil. Yeah, you forgot about him, right? As you forgot about me. I absolutely must talk to the paladins in town. Can you help me get to them? What's your business with the paladins? That's a long story. I've got time. <sighs> Zardas sent me on a mission. He wants me to obtain a powerful amulet, the Eye of Inos. So you're still allied to that necromancer. I see. And the paladins have this amulet? As far as I know, yes. I can help you get to the paladins, but first you need to become one of us. I was one of you, I'm still one of you, why do you have to make me rejoin you? I don't get it. This is a weak point. How can you help me get to the Paladins? Trust me, I've got a plan. I think you're the right man for it. I'll take you to the Paladins, and you'll do me a favor. But first, join us. What exactly are you doing here? Quite simple. I'm gonna see to it that we all get off this island. Onar hired us to defend his farm, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. But our reward is more than just our pay. By helping the farmers, we cut the city off from its provisions. And the less the paladins have to eat, the sooner they'll listen when I finally make them an offer of peace. What is your offer going to look like? Essentially, it will be about our pardons and free passage to the mainland. You'll learn more when the time comes. I want to join you. I'd hope you say that. I can use every able man here. The last mercenaries I accepted have done nothing but stir up trouble. In principle, you can start right away. Well, first there's one or two things we need to get straight, but it's no big deal. What do I have to get straight before I can join you? Rejoin you. Onar, the landowner, is the one who employs us. You can only stay on the farm with his approval. And then there's the boys. I can only accept you if a majority of the mercenaries agree that you join us. But don't go to Onar before everything is straightened out. He's a very impatient fellow. How can I convince the mercenaries to vote me in? By doing what is expected of you as a mercenary, I should say. Talk to Torloff. He's usually outside in front of the house. He'll put you to the test. If you can pass that, you should have earned a large part of the necessary respect. He'll tell you everything else you need to know. What do you know about the Ring of Water? <laughs> I might have known. You just have to mingle in everything, don't you? Come on, tell me. I'm only marginally involved in this. I know that this secret guild exists here and that the water mages are behind it. Since the fall of the barrier, I am no longer bound to the agreement I came to with the water mages back then. Of course I still help when I can, but most of the time I have my own problem and barely any time for other things. If you want to know more about it, you should probably talk to Kord. He's one of them, as far as I know. Okay, thank you. I'm ready to join you. Not before you've passed Tarloff's test. I never knew that. Yeah, that's what I really don't like. But whatever. Everything fine with you? So, you wanna join us then, hmm? Do you even have a decent weapon? Of course I do. We stole it from the trolls. 
How did you end up with the mercenaries? I came with Silvio from the south. We belong to an army of mercenaries which fought against the orcs. What's your opinion of Silvio? He's a dangerous fella, and many of the mercenaries who came with him this far listen to what he says. Better not pick a fight with him. What's your opinion of Lee? I think that the only thing Lee is really interested in is getting away from this island. He wants to go to the mainland. Seems to have a bone to pick with someone there. At any rate, he does a far better job than Silvio ever could. Moreover, he's a good leader. Most of the time, we can do whatever we want here. Would you mind if I joined you? Once you have passed the test, I shall vote for you. That easy. Would you mind if I joined you? What? What weapons do you have to offer? Only the best. Just take a look at them. Oh wow, you really have powerful weapons, indeed. And some arrows that we need. Hunting belt we don't need. Oh, he has the dragon bow. This is very powerful, but by the time we reach that, we are not even on this range, so yeah, that's it. We still have money. So we have to take the test of truth, and we have here something, right? Vasil is one of our candidates Don't for something. Don't even think about touching anything here. Otherwise, you'll get a couple upside the head. Got it? Got it. What's your job? Onar wants me to spend all day keeping an eye on his stuff. He's worried that something will go missing, and I would too in his place. Most of the mercenaries he's hired are former convicts from the penal colony. They'll walk off with everything that isn't nailed down if no one watches out. Yeah, give us all money and shut up. There's a whole bunch of junk here. That's right. And most of it is extremely valuable. Onar collects valuable objects. A simple man like me can hardly afford such luxury. I stick to other things. And that would be? I collect old coins. Has anyone tried to steal anything yet? A few. And I caught them all. I've got an old coin here. Hmm, show me. Oh yeah? That won't bring much on the open market. I'll pay you a gold piece for it. Exactly as much as it used to be worth. No. Not quite enough. What about two? Nothing doing. I'm not a loony. Beat it. Two gold coins you can get for it. You know what I'm prepared to pay for it, you dog. One gold piece, no more. Not quite enough. What about two? Ah, damn, all right. Two gold coins for every old coin you can bring me. That's my final offer. Deal. It's a deal. Good. Two is the maximum Here's you can two get. gold coins. Interested in some more old coins? Ooh, level up. Sure. Do you still have any? A few. Thanks. Here's your money. Bring me all you can find. Yeah, the lag or not lag, but somehow it takes too long. So, Onar. Who let you in here? What are you doing here on my farm? Everything all right here on the farm? I don't see how that's any of your business. You don't belong on the farm. I want to work for you. I don't need a farmhand right now. My people see to everything else. You have no business here in the house, so get out. You're an asshole. You're revolting against the city, or so I've heard. Now listen up. I inherited this farm and this land from my father. And he inherited it from his father. I'm not going to allow that greedy imbecile of a king to make off with all that just in order to feed his useless armies. The war with the orcs has been going on forever. And where do we stand? On the edge of defeat. No, I prefer to defend my farm myself. The money that I save this way can pay for my own army. I want to work here as a mercenary. You? A mercenary? Don't make me laugh. If you were any good as a mercenary, Lee would have told me about you. Now get yourself out of here, pronto. 
I want to buy a sheep. He's mad always. What are you doing here then? See a sheep anywhere? I. If you want to buy a sheep, go out to the pasture. It's to the right of my house. Have Pepe sell you one. Okay, then let's see where your wife is. I have a gift for her. Maid. Where is Maria? Yeah, this house got to reworked, redesigned, so it's going to take a while to find something here. Vasily, go away. Hey, watch it! Yeah, you watch it. I just need to talk to Maria. Ah, there she is. Wait, where are you going? Damn it, where is she going? Yeah, this is a bit weird. Thank you for your donation, you? Maria. I am Onar's wife, Maria. What do you want here? I just wanted to have a look around here. With all these men on the farm now, there's no peace to be had inside the house. They just keep barging in here. Do they know? Do the mercenaries bother you? Oh, well. At least the farm has been a lot safer since the mercenaries came. Back when we were still on our own, the militia came from town all the time to plunder our provisions. They dragged off the better part of the harvest, and they took some sheep too. They did nothing for us in return. A few of those scoundrels even stole from us. Her voice does not pass to the body that she has. So what did they steal from you? Mostly gold and silver. They even took my wedding present, a golden plate. I bet it's now gathering dust in the chest of some filthy city guard. I have a golden plate here. Would this be yours? Yes, that is it. Thanks a million. So, what about my reward? Do you want to hire on as a mercenary here on the farm? Yeah, if we tell her that, then she's going to give us 10 extra gold per ratio that we get from owner from 50 to 60. But the problem is you only get once or two, three times maximum from owner. So that's 30 gold. No, Instead not we really. want her money to it. Take this gold as a reward. You've earned it. Has anything exciting happened here lately? The paladins passed by here. At first we thought they were going to attack the farm, but they were headed for the Valley of Mines. Then they didn't really pass through here, Tell right? Tell me about Onar. He's a good man. A little grumpy and very impatient, but we've all got our faults. I told my husband, why do you let the soldiers from the city treat you like that? Do something, I said. So he hired the mercenaries. Now I feel like I'm in the middle of a war. But so then, it's your fault. We are at war, aren't we? Yep, and that's it. We have to take the test, and then we are able to join the mercenaries. What can we learn? We have leveled up. Yeah, we can get more dexterity. Five more. What do you want from me? Can you help me improve my abilities? I could show you how to use your strength better in close combat. A lot of fighters are very weak because they don't have the technique to use their strength properly. The same is true for dexterity and ranged weapons. We need the dexterity. I want to. Oh yeah, he can do that also. Good. We have 72 dexterity now. Plus the bow. Yes, I forgot we can equip it now. Sartorlov, give us the test. I want to join the mercenaries. Oh, and why do you think I should be in favor of you being accepted here? What are the rules for a duel? Quite simple. Both opponents have to have the opportunity to draw their weapons before the first blow. You can't just go and belt one of the men without warning. There has to be some sort of spoken challenge. 
an insult, or another reason to fight. None of the other men will interfere in a fight like that, unless one of the two gets killed in the duel. Oh, we cannot steal from him yet, I believe, right? Did Lee send you to me? He said you would help me. Fine, so here we go. There are two things you have to do before you can join us. First, you have to prove that you're capable of mastering the task that you will have to fulfill as a mercenary. I'll put you to the test. And second, you have to earn the respect of the other mercenaries. Well, how can I earn the respect of the other mercenaries? For most of them, it'll be enough if you fulfill your task and pass my test. But you'll have to find some other way of convincing some of them. Some will try and exploit your situation, and others may not like your mug. You should try to get along with as many of the boys as possible. But if nothing else helps, then you can always take part in a duel. If you win, you'll learn to respect the most of them. But watch out that you don't kill one of them by accident, because then you'll have a big problem. What about you? Will you vote me in? If you can prove that you can fulfill the duties of a mercenary, yes. How's my reputation among the mercenaries? Let's see. Wolf says he has nothing against you, Joy. Good friend. Jarvis thinks you're on the right side. It's Kord's opinion that you first need to learn how to handle weapons better. Cypher says that for him it was crystal clear that you'd get to join. Something seems to have made him really happy. You seem to have convinced Rod that you're strong enough. Sentenza won't vote for you. He says you still own 50 gold pieces. I don't need to say anything about Silvio and Volko. Those two morons are against everyone. Buster says you're okay, and Dar says you're a blabbermouth. But his vote doesn't count for very much here. The rest of the mercenaries haven't said anything. Most of them are just waiting to see if you pass the test. At any rate, you want some fair duels already. You're far from done, kid. If you want us to accept you, you'll have to do something for it. We are not far from done, we just have to do the test of fate. That's so weird. What are my duties as a mercenary? Onar hired us for two reasons. He wants us to keep the militia off his back, and he wants us to keep things in order on his farm. That includes collecting the rent when the small farmers won't pay. So, what'll it be? Yeah, let's deal with the militia. I'll deal with the militia, don't worry. The farmer Bengar has complained that lately the militia from the city has been getting on his nerves. They're pressuring the farmer, probably trying to make him break with Onar. I want you to go to his farm and make it clear to the militia that they have no business there. Questions? How do I get there? How can I find Bengar's farm? So we have the been there, my friend. Valley is a big stairway that leads to a high plain. That's where Bengar's farm is. If you get lost, ask the farmers in the fields how to find your way around the area. Okay, let's talk with Cord also. He has something for us. Because we learned about the Ring of Water. Is he still here? Yeah. Hey! I've heard that you belong to the Ring of Water. What rat has not been able to keep his big trap shut? Lee told me about it. Looks like I've got a deal with you now, doesn't it? All right. So what do you need? And be damn careful about what you tell me. For if I don't like what I hear, I just might skin you alive. Yeah, and that's why pay me for my silence. Wow, that's weird. Teach me how to fight, I believe, right? Let's see. Is he going Teach to do that? me how to fight. All right, what else? Yeah, so that's uh, the the shortest way you would get from Laris. He would tell us to go to court and talk to him about it. But if we talk to Lee, we get that option also. So the best way to the shortest way to join the other faction is either militia for free easy experience, or if you want the fire magicians, the you could help to join to them, then you have to the accept that quest. I can just see it now. Right, I'll try. What else? What happens if we say? Pay me for my silence. Pay me for my silence? Wouldn't you like that? Too bad for you. I won't be blackmailed, Buster. Okay, that's a new line. 
and the rest. That's all. That shouldn't get. be too hard. And woe betide you if I hear that you can't keep your trap shut. And I'm only saying this once, understand? Help me become a mercenary. Let me think. Hmm. You've got to get past Torloff if you want to make any progress here. Have you already seen Torloff about it? Yes, that's with the test and everything. What test would that be? I'm supposed to drive the militia away from Bengar's farm. Ah, yes. That's easy. Listen, come back tomorrow. I'll have taken care of it by then. But you're going to have to do something for me in return. Of course. And what would that be? Not far from here, to the southeast, there's a small bandit camp in the mountains. If you go southeast from here, you'll soon see the tower there. One of my people, Patrick, left several days ago to do business with those varmints. Well, I told him it was a rotten idea. But that idiot wouldn't listen to me. I assume they've made short work of him. But I don't know for sure. You're going to find out for me. And what makes you so sure that they won't make short work of me, too? The fact that I know the name of their leader. It's Dexter. You'll simply claim that you know the guy. His men will think twice before they wring your neck just for the heck of it. It could still get dangerous. Very course, dangerous still. But you can handle that. Teach me how to fight. I can teach you to use any weapon. Where shall we start? Yes, yeah, so and now he can teach us. What should I learn first? One-handed or two-handed combat? Those two types of arms are rather similar. As soon as you reach the next level with one type of weapon, you automatically learn for the other as well. If, for instance, you're good at fighting with one-handed swords, but still a beginner with two-handed weapons, your two-handed skills will go up as well whenever you train with a one-hander. If you train with one type of weapon only, you'll find the training more exhausting. If you always train both, you'll arrive at the same result with less effort. In the end, the outcome will be the same either way. It's your choice. Okay. What are the advantages of one-handed or two-handed weapons? A good question. I see you've given the subject some thought. One-handed weapons are faster, but a little weaker. Two-handers cause more damage, but you can't strike as fast. Also, you need more strength to wield a two-hander. This means additional training. The only way to become really good is to invest a lot of effort. Okay. So now the court can do the the test for us, but we are going to do it ourselves. Because we need all the experience. And those who shouldn't be hard, we have a ice lens. Uh, we should actually equip the ice block also. That's a very good spell. But it's very good to... Oh! When did you respawn here? Or you were already here? Nice. We hit a bit faster now. Faster and stronger because we are at the next uh, mark. That is very good. And of course a weapon or L. Yeah, this bug is a bit annoying with the arrow. So we go finish the quest for Bangar. We do it ourselves. We can actually sleep, it's too late. Oh, we can sleep at Bangar's. Yeah, let's sleep at Bangar's. So we have to deal with two militia people. Oh, it's going to, to rain by the looks of it. And here is nothing, right? Only the the beast. The one that Gon has problem with. Ah, there they are. Can we steal from them first? Because that's what we want to steal from them also. You can't rely on that. Nice. It's just weird because those people come out of nowhere. We don't know where they are in the city. What are you doing here? Beat it! Understand? Ooh, so mean. What about you, Rick? How's it going? If you want to talk, 
Talk to Rumbold. I'm just here in case anyone makes trouble. Okay. Going to do that. At least we got their experience. Vanguard, my friend. There's so many of you. Why don't you just go up against the militia yourself? It's true that there's a lot of us, but we're not trained fighters like the militia. I'm supposed to deal with your militia problem. What? I told Onar he should send a couple of his mercenaries. This is my chance them. to prove myself. Terrific. <laughs> Uh, do you know what the militia will do to me if you screw it up? Is it really true? These bastards come by here once a week and collect the taxes for the city. Yeah, it's a good thing you came just now. This is their usual time. They should be here any moment. Let the militia come then. I'll deal with them. I can't wait. Here they come now. See? I told you so. Just don't screw it up. Don't you worry, my friend. Ah, we got plus one health. Can we do it like this? Put that weapon away. You're in for it now. Okay, we can do it like this, but I want to see if they give us experience. If we talk to them. But we can two shot them, which is perfect. Do we really have to wait for them wait to get there? Look at the Ooh, I am then get out of Wait a minute. How's it going? If you want to talk. So let's see. Yeah, they really don't have a lot of health. Hey, you! Leave. Is there something wrong with your? You don't have to ask me that. Oh my God! A fight! A fight. There were two fights. But we dealt them in with a bow, as we said. We are bowmen. We want to use that as much as possible. Your militia problem is a thing of the past. Not bad. Maybe there'll be something left over at the end of the month now for a change. Thanks. You're welcome. Balthazar the shepherd isn't allowed on your pasture. Oh yeah, that story. I told him Sekob should pay me money if he wanted to lead the sheep into my pasture. To tell the truth, that's only harassment. I just can't stand Balthazar. Wait a minute. So he's allowed to, okay. I guess that's it. We dealt with our problem. Could have been done nicely like we did. We dealt it first time. I don't want any trouble. Oh, there's a fish soup. Oh, we got leather text still okay. That's not bad at all. Didn't know we can steal from his house. Mm, we need to give some some food to the other guy. I forgot his name. Can't we actually go down here? Or am I mistaken? Ah, yes, this is the way. We can go and tell also Balthazar that he's allowed to go on the high pastures now. From now on, thanks to us. And then we can become a mercenary. After we join the mercenary, we can visit uh, the paladins. Oh, what's up with the lag? That's really weird sometimes. It's not normal that I lag. Or I mean not as much. Probably because of the recording. Normally when I just play myself then there is no lag. He had also a sword, a bandit sword somewhere here I believe. Yeah, it's gone. Everything else alright? Oh, I can't complain. What about the... Forbidden pastures. And we have to do something for him, but we just did. We cleared the militia for him. Probably to in a day or two we can talk to him. And 
and I don't know what what's our plan. We have to go to the Valley of Mines after that. But there we have to take Diego out of the mine and the, the militia guard. So I have no clue how we are going to do that because of the aggro range. And not many. It doesn't. How much? Fifty gold. Yeah, we cannot pay it back. Okay. Whatever then. Let's become a mercenary. Even though I don't really, really oh, like them. Just for the ever the soul thing that they really forgot about us after three weeks and they. You see, join us, but to do that and that for us. But whatever. Damn it! Is it raining? Yeah. I believe it's raining. Very nice. Third love, my friend. I took care of Bengar's militia problem. Did you make sure that they won't be standing on his doorstep again tomorrow? They'd have a really hard time doing that. Well done. You passed your test. If you can handle a militia, most here will respect you. How's my reputation among the mercenaries? Let's see. Wolf says he has nothing against Jarvis thinks you're on the court thinks you'd be good enough to join. Ah, Cypher he... says that for him, it... you seem to have convinced Rod. Sentenza won't vote for you. I don't need to say anything about... Buster says you're open. and Dar says you're a blair. The rest of the mercenaries, you convinced most of them by pet. You have my vote in any case. And you won some fair duels. A lot of mercenaries respect that. Most of the mercenaries are for you. As far as we're concerned, you can start with us at any time. Go to Lee. He'll explain everything else to you. Well, thank you very much. We are level 14. We could be much higher if we wanted to clear more stuff, but there is no need to at the moment. We can do that in later chapters. Hey, you! I'm ready to join you. Didn't you pass Tarlov's test? Yes. That's good. What did the other mercenaries say? Most of them are on my side. Good. Then go see Onar now. I've already talked with him. But you'll have to negotiate your pay yourself. That's really not important, the pay. It's just a joke, sadly. Lee sent me. I want to work here as a mercenary. He's already talked to me. I already didn't think much of you the first time you asked me. But if Lee thinks you'll do, then I'm willing to give you a chance. He's the one responsible for you, so suit yourself. But no fooling around here. Leave the farmers and the maids alone, and above all, don't nab anything, capiche? capiche? For everything else, talk to Lee. All we need to discuss now is your pay. So how about my pay? Well, let's see. I don't think too much of you. Let me think. Fifty gold pieces. That's nothing. What do you say? Well, that's not a whole lot. Of course, you're welcome to work for me for free instead. Anyway, this is all you'll get. Everything all right here on the farm? I don't see how that's any of your business. You don't belong on the farm. All right, we have to still talk with Lee and then talk to him. I'm ready to join you. Have you seen Onar? He agrees. Welcome aboard. 400 experience. Here, take some decent armor first. I'm glad to have you with us. I already have your first assignment. It has to do with the paladins. It's time you went to see them. You wanted to go there anyway. Very true. And how can I get to the paladins now? Very simple. You'll take our peace offering to them. I know Lord Hagen, the commander of the paladins, from my time in the royal army. I know how he thinks. He doesn't have enough men. He'll accept the offer. At least he'll listen to you. I've written a letter. Here. In any case, that should get you admitted to see the leader of the paladins. Okay. Thank you. So, honor. What about my money? Everything all right here on the farm? I certainly hope so. 
That's what I'm paying you for, after all. You had better yeah, go to Torov and ask him if he has work for you. Pay me my wages. Are you out of your mind? First work for me for a day. You'll get your next pay tomorrow then. Yeah, that's the problem with the money. We don't really get quests from Torlov to be able to earn money from owner. So, Torlov. Welcome to the mercenaries, kid. Thank you. Thanks. As soon as I have something for you to do, I'll let you know. He doesn't have anything for us to do? So I wanted to check if we can improve our armor, the one that we have. Upgrade our armor. Not only hunter armor, this one we cannot improve. You're still here after all. I thought we'd agreed that I should let you depart in peace. You really should have listened to me. What the hell? What's that? We are mercenary. And now, my goodness, finish him and show him. Finish him, show him. <laughs> That's not fair. Oh, wait, we have to, to do more stuff. I need a better weapon. Where is the weapon? I need a spell for the guy. He is strong as a as an ox. So sleep. Let's see. Is sleep still working? Okay. Yeah, it's still working here also. Cheap move, but probably the other weapon would be been better. Yeah, but it is what it is, my friend. You wanted beef with us, not us with you. Yeah, this one is better. So the sleep is still good for duels. Try that again. I'm not going to leave here. Yeah, yeah, go tell it to somebody who cares. Wait a minute. The two of us should have a chat. Listen, you won now. Leave me alone. So we wanted to check the armor also. Only 25 that it's it's a joke. This is the real armor. So we will have to go to the town, talk to the paladins and see what they want from us. Bennett, do you have anything for us? No, nothing. Yeah, but we are a full mercenary. Mm, Raul has something for us and then we will go. Don't be jealous. Don't think that I respect you now. Just because you're one of us, I'll tell you something. No matter what you're wearing, I can see right through you. To me, you're just a greasy little idler, nothing more. What's your problem? I know people of your sort. All talk, no guts. I detest somebody who dresses up all important and brags about his heroic deeds. I wear the same armor as I did when I came here. one of the boys here in the mouth because he claimed he could bring down a black troll with one hand tied behind his back. So what? What's that supposed to mean? So what? Have you ever seen a black troll, big mouth? Do you have any idea how big those monsters are, man? If you just get one step too close to them, they'll tear you to pieces. Black troll, no problem. Oh, that's a huge problem, my friend. I ought to rip your head off, but I've got a better idea. If you're such a great fighter, then prove it. What's in it for me? Stupid question. Your honor and your joy in one piece? 
That's not a whole lot, is it? Hmm. Shall we say, I'll pay you a ton of money if you bring me the hide of a black troll. How's that sound? Better. Then what are you waiting for? Yeah, we will do it, don't you worry, you and your 465 health. So, I guess I'm going to make a cut here, we are going to go in the next episode to the mercenaries, uh, we are there, sorry, to the paladins, and then see what they have to tell us about the Valley of Mines, the Eye of Innos, and so on. Thank you very much, guys, for joining me, I'll see you in the next episode, be cool, and bye-bye!